weather was nice. Um, I'm in the car bumping Biggie all day today. And at work, you know, shout out to the shout out to the homie, shout out to the Brooklyn King right there. Rest in peace. 24 years since uh, we lost one of the greats in hip hop. Um, so today is just, I mean, it's awesome, man. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but you know, I'm, I'm feeling really good about today, man. I'm good, man. Good, man. Uh, ready to get into sports. Rest in peace, B.I. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been screaming um, B.I. At my, at my child all day today. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Gotta gotta teach the young ones, man, about the greats. Shane won't hear it, but here we are. Hey, a lot of a lot of stuff they don't want to hear. I mean, a lot of stuff we didn't want to hear coming up, but mm. it is what it is. But uh we, we gotta start with the big story, man. Yes, sir. Uh Dak Prescott, uh Dallas Cowboys quarterback, has finally um got his money. Yes, sir. And um, you know. Four years, one hundred and sixty million dollars. Uh, Seventy-five million dollars of that he gets his first year. Yep. Also, with um, the guaranteed money, one hundred twenty-six million dollars. Yep. 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 Um, man, uh, it's it's a long time coming, man. And I, I guess to kind of throw a little bit of um, shade toward your way, I mean, I know you had them, you know. Yeah, I didn't not think he'd be there. Team. You didn't think I he'd be there. I didn't think they was going to get it done. I ain't, Yeah, I, I stand yeah. by that. I didn't think they was going to get it done. Yeah. Um, but yeah. they got it done. So uh, he is the second highest paid quarterback in the league right now. Like, like you know, reports said he wanted to be. Um, mm. They they got it done. Uh, congrats to Dak Prescott. Um, you know, fix a couple of, you know, fix a philosophy or two here in the defense and you right back to saying that this is a Super Bowl caliber caliber team on paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, they, they got the pieces on offense. The offense was never the problem. Um, you know, obviously they, they want to start retooling the offensive line a little, but um, right now on paper, um, they're, they're in the contention on paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I would I would I would agree with that. Um, they just gotta fix the defense up. They yeah. they, if they could just get that situated, and all the receivers are coming back. Right. Um, Ezekiel Elliott's coming back. They're yep. not losing like the major offensive weapons for this football team. So you would have to think that um, offensively they're gonna be where they were last year, even despite playing comeback in most yeah. of those games. Mm-hmm. Um, defensively is where now they gotta you know shore some things up, and um, you know and and I wanted to mention also, um, I always mentioned that Dak wanted four years and Jerry wanted to give him five, mm-hmm. so I like the fact that he got what he wanted. He got what he wanted. He got the four years, and after that fourth year, that off season, that cap is supposed to increase. Um, pretty significantly in comparison to previous off seasons. So it's definitely smart on Dak's part to, you know, work that thing and get it done. So like year four comes around because you know, what's going to happen. They're, they're going to come to him and say, Hey, we want to, you know, extend you. We want to put some more years on this thing and just stretch the money out where it's like, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to stretch the money out. I want to, I want another raise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I, I like the fact that he set himself up, you know, successfully for when that time comes around. For sure. For sure. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, congrats, black man, getting your money. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's all I got to say. I mean, really, that's all I got to say about it, man. Uh, he deserves. He's in the market for uh, guys like Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield. Mm-hmm. You know, when those guys are up. So... Lamar Jackson, um, your yep. GM came out and said that this contract is by no sh- stretch going to affect uh, Lamar's contract. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know what he means by that? I think what he means is that they're going to try to do everything in their power to give him an extension because if they wait until the end of that contract and he's a free agent, and I mean, and, and let's just say he gets the free agency and he decides, yo, I want to stay with the Ravens. He's going to cost more money during free agency than he's going to cost right now. 
Mm-hmm. So I think that's what Eric DaCosta means by that this contract is not going to have an effect, meaning he's not going to allow Dak Prescott's contract to be a tone setter for what they want to give Lamar Jackson. Now, do I believe Lamar should get paid? Yeah, Lamar definitely should get paid. Um, If we're talking $40 million range, and you're you're probably talking about $42 million at this point, because Dak is getting 40 Mm -hmm. per year. So Mm -hmm. now you're you're, you're talking north of $40 million. Um, that's, That's pretty tough. But if he gets to that point, I would have to say that he's earned it if he gets to that point. Now, if they extend him and say he gets $35, $34 million, then I I, I got no issues with it because obviously Lamar's not going to have an issue with it because obviously he would have accepted the extension. Um, So in your mind, you don't think he should be in the 39, 40 million market? Like, you do you think be okay should be if he hits free agency if he if he if he decides to not accept the extension and he waits till free agency yes he definitely should get just north of 40 million dollars but if he signs say tomorrow you saying that he's more in the 35 million range i would i would say they're probably going to try to lock him up in that within that 35 million dollar per year range gotcha yeah. Um, I, I think one way or the other, he should be getting paid no no less than thirty five. Um, no less than thirty five. So it should I be agree. yeah. I so agree. it should be going up from it should be going up from there. You're talking about an MVP, and you know I yep. get I get you know, and I don't even really want to cape for a Raven right now. But um, I mean, there's Lamar Jackson is a top. I mean, just in production, he's a top. What we would you say top, top ten. Top ten? I'd top ten? Yeah, I'd say top ten. What would yeah. you say? Where would you say? I would say he's. I would say he's number. I'd say he's around six right so, now. Okay. Okay. And I'm That's just fair. basing it off of yeah, last just, year. Yeah. Because last last year was sort of down from what his MVP year was. Yeah. So I, I, I would say he's he's around six. Okay. Yeah, I, I would agree. I, I would. I, you know, with without just freestyle, I would say about six or seven too. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's gonna, it's gonna, and it's gonna be the same thing for Josh Allen too. And I know the Bills haven't came out and discussed what they're gonna do with him, nor have the Browns came out and said anything about Baker. Um, and I don't even I, know I that Baker is in that same market. I mean, he had. We're talking about one good year. Yeah, right. I don't the rookie, even know year, the rookie year wasn't terrible though. Yeah, but uh, it wasn't. That. But he's not gonna get paid like those guys. Those guys are getting paid like the best quarterbacks in the league. Baker Mayfield just hasn't been that. Right, and and I think that the jury is still out yeah, on, on Baker, Baker Mayfield, Mayfield at yeah. this point. So, right. Um, but Josh Allen, um, and I, and I guess again, Josh Allen, one great year, close to an MVP caliber year. We'll we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, kind of moving forward. Yeah, um, but right now the the three best quarterbacks um, are or should be getting ready to be getting taken care of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Or with that. best young quarterbacks, let me say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, yo, we, we we got black men getting paid at the quarterback spot, man. It's a beautiful thing, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I uh, saw earlier today that the Pittsburgh Steelers are not going to tag anybody. No, this they season. Um, they haven't tagged anybody yet. I, I, I don't. I didn't read that they're not going to tag anybody. Yeah, I would check Adam Schefter's uh, tweet. Uh, okay. He came out and said that the Steelers are not tagging nobody, which means... A lot of people are going to walk. But Dupree is most likely going to walk. Yeah, and a lot I know of people are going to walk. that's something you don't want. Yeah. Um, I mean, Ben Roethlisberger took a $5 million pay cut from mm-hmm. 19 to 14. Um, yep. I don't know I if that's... That. I don't know if that's enough to get... Uh, Bud Dupree signed. Um, mm-hmm. The salary cap is not expected to exceed 183 million, um, so that that just bodes even worse for Pittsburgh. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> at this point, I'm just hoping we can hold on to somebody. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, what um, if it's Juju, man? <laughs> I mean, like I said, man, I, I I really felt like Juju was. I mean, I think I've been saying it in the regular season that Juju wasn't going to be a stiller next year. Him, not because I don't yeah. like him, but just because 
uh, when numbers started to come out about uh, what he would be worth in the market, which mm-hmm. is 16 a year. Yeah. It's no way we no. And there's a lot no, of demand for receiver right now. Too. It's no way we swing in 16 million a year. Um, it's mm-hmm. just no way we swing into that. I, I, at this point, um, I'm looking in the draft. I, I just I've been on Twitter looking in the draft trying to see who uh, Stillis Depot is plugging as a good receiver that we could possibly get in the draft. Cause um, I think Juju's gone. I think James Conner is gone. Much to my to my liking, honestly. But I think he's gone. Um, Dupree, like you said, is probably gone. Alejandro Villanueva is gone. Uh, like it, 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 it's we we going to a lot of people are going to be gone from Pittsburgh in my in my mind. Yeah, 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 for real. Um, I did see a few other teams come out and not laid a tag on some players. Um, i.e., Hunter Henry. Um, the Chargers aren't tagging him, so he's going to be a free agent. Yeah. Um, Shaq Barrett with the Bucks, uh, Godwin as well. Those guys aren't being tagged. So no, Godwin was tagged. tagged. Godwin was tagged. Yeah. Okay. 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 So Godwin so was Shaq tagged. Barrett. So Shaq Barrett, but the the Bucks, I think, are trying to work something out with Shaq Barrett. I, yeah, I would hope so. Yeah, I, I would hope so too. Yeah. Um, you know, given you know how that team is built right now, so yeah, yeah, I would hope so. But the Bears, I saw put the tag on Allen Robinson, yeah. So there so goes that, that, there goes anything, you know, Ravens fans. Let's just put that to rest. We're not getting Allen Robinson unless it's like a sign and trade situation, and I don't believe Allen Robinson is going to be any part of the sign and trade. So. Mm-hmm. So that, that that is what it is there. Um, other notables that I caught was Leonard Williams of the Giants was tagged. Uh, Brandon Scherf for the football team was tagged. Mm. Uh, Kenny Galladay was not tagged, so I guess he was high on the expected, you know, expecting to be uh, tagged, so he's going to be yep. able to test the market, as yep. well as Aaron Jones of the Packers was not tagged. He's going to be able to test the market. Okay. Hey, there you go. I know that was one of the running backs you had on your wish list there. Yeah, but my but but it starts with um it starts with Najee Harris. Um be clear. Uh I don't know that we're gonna be able to afford anybody of that type of production that Aaron Jones had last year. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford anybody of that. Um if we're gonna we're our running back market, like as far as free agents Go under the night. It's funny because I just been reading articles about it today. They fall under the lines of people like uh, Dion Lewis, uh, Theo Riddick. Um, those caliber of backs are the type of backs that we're going to be able to afford for cheap one year rentals. Um, we're not. We just can't afford nothing. Much of nothing. So who besides the quarterback has a big contract on that team? Uh, a big contract. Um, yeah. Ben, I, I don't know. I wouldn't or necessarily, not necessarily a big but contract. Held maybe, up. maybe a contract that you know, if you release some. Um, that cap, Ben Roethlis, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, Cam Hayward. Um, mm. I mean, really, as far as big, you know, that's holding it up. About, mm. I mean, that's, that's about it. But we got a lot of guys that I mean, like Joe Hayden is a little expensive. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, the Castro is a little is, is is a little expensive. If I'm not, you mistaken. got like a lot of guys that's probably making like in the range of eleven to 13 yeah, that type, yeah, that year. type of thing. Um, uh, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, obviously, we're gonna get T.J. Watt done when it's time, but um, you know, Minka Fitzpatrick is gonna be a, a, a issue in maybe two years, mm. and maybe mm-hmm. probably as soon as next year. Um, at the as soon as the end of next year. Um, you know, mm-hmm. um. Cam Sutton, I mean, Cam Sutton might be gone this year, to be honest. Um, I hope we don't lose him. He's a free agent, right? um, I'm not, I don't think that he's a free agent yet. Uh, uh, Mike Hilton is uh, going to be a free agent. Mm. Um, And he's probably gone. I don't want him to be, but he's probably gone. Yeah. Like, I'd be lying to you if I said I was really ecstatic about... um, the people that were leaving, particularly in the secondary. Mm-hmm. Um, but with that being said, Devin Bush is coming back. Robert Blaine, um, who had a you know a decent year, is coming back in the linebacking core. Um, 
Alex Highsmith, people seem to be high on him and how he performed with Bud Dupree out. Um, you know, so I still think defensively, because we're young, we'll be fine. Um, just we got to figure something out on offense. Yeah, yeah. Well, my team hasn't used a tag yet. Nope. Um, as, as it speaks, so... I'm I'm looking at guys like Dengakwe and Matthew Judon. Uh, those guys are going to be gone, or or at least that's my expectation that they're going to be gone. So we we just going to have to I hope you know, so. tighten it up in the draft. You know, I mean <laughs> Matthew Judon, he he he's good. I mean, I, I don't I don't know if I you know give him you know all that money. Mm-hmm. You know, just to just to be good, you know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he's he's all right. And Yannick, what you think? I, what you think? Nah, you was big on the Gakwe now. I was, I yeah. was, but he hasn't done much to really solidify the trade the second half of the year. Yeah. So you know, what you gonna ask him to take a hometown discount? And I'm like, nah, the the, the nigga just got there. He, mm-hmm. He's he's looking for his payday, so. right? Right. So yeah, if he if he go and you know get some money elsewhere, hey, go go get your money, man. We we just gonna have to replace you, bro. Ravens been doing this for twenty some years. It's mm. Nothing new. Mm. Um, you know they 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 got a hit in the draft, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they 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 got a hit. You and me you know, both. They, they you and me hit. both. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm I'm looking over at. You know, the Browns over there and the Browns, you know, as long as they don't screw things up in the front office, look like they got things, you know, set for a good, you know, three years, the next three years. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I'm and I'm hearing all this Odell Beckham trade talk. Yeah, yeah. I heard Tampa. I heard Tampa as a rumor. I've heard Tampa. I've heard Tampa. And I, I've heard some people say the Ravens, too, but I, I don't think. The Browns are trading with us, so I heard. Uh, I heard an- rumors of Antonio Brown going to Baltimore. Oh, that's still out there. I just read it today. <laughs> that's still out. Just there. read okay. it today. I mean, I mean, be clear. As good as a receiver he is, and I'm sure he likes Tom Brady, and Tom Brady likes him. Um, he he's he wasn't super used. No, I you mean, know? And, and we know why. We, I mean, you know why he wasn't well, super used. Well, why do you say why? Why do you say? Um, look at the weapons on that team. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I was making sure we were saying the same thing. Yeah, it's just it's yeah, just other weapons. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you look at the tight ends, I mean, you can yeah. argue those some of those tight ends were more option or in line to be like the number four yeah. option than AB yeah. was. Yeah, one hundred percent. I I I think that's Gronk for certain. Yeah, Gronk yeah. for certain. Yeah, Gronk for certain. And you could argue Cam Brate yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, so that doesn't surprise me though. Now, I mean, now that we're kind of talking about who's on that offense, yeah. That it doesn't surprise me that he would want to go somewhere else to be the number one option or even Well, I don't know. I don't know that I don't even know that he's he's saying that. I I uh-huh. that's just a rumor I read. I don't know that he's saying he wanna be gone, but this is rumor right. I read. Right, right. Um while we're talking about rumors, uh mm-hmm. In the Russell Wilson saga, uh, it's been rumored that he Chicago is now his number one pick. <laughs> I guess because Dak got his money and he's staying with the Cowboys. So, because you know the Cowboys was one of those four teams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now that that's a scratch off the list. Now you know Chicago's on the list there. You know I you know and I and, and I saw this today too that. They sent they being the Seahawks sent the letter to the fan base, I mm-hmm. guess season ticket holders and mm-hmm. Russell, I guess, wasn't a part of I guess the letter or something like that. Like I don't know how that works. Like yeah. do they have like a bunch of players' faces on and then they left his face off? Like I'm yeah. I'm I'm trying to figure out how that works. How but if, I know. if it, however that however that is, if you leave him off of that, then you, and that's you, you got a question something? further. You you got a question further, yo. Like, what's really what's really good? Like this, you know, because I'm you. I'm of the opinion he's staying there. Me too. And I and I, and I think you say to feel the same way. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's going anywhere. But, but the more these things keep popping up, the more it's like. How yo, you feel about him in Chicago? Um, 
I think I feel pretty good about that. I seem like more of the same to me. Um, I guess the defense is better in Chicago. The defense is better in Chicago. Um, I think the offensive line may be slightly better in Chicago than in Seattle. So I think I, I think Russ could do well in Chicago. Um, I mean, and, and you tagged Allen Robinson, so you know you're keeping a the guy there who's their best. Yeah receiver and you're yeah. still keeping David Montgomery and um and Tariq Cohen's still there right I don't I don't know I know David Montgomery was getting the bulk of carries by the end of the season right, right. I don't know okay. I don't know where Terry Cohen is okay like I don't even know if he's like a free agent or not yeah I don't know where he is to be or honest he with just you. kind of fell out of favor or something but well I, I know just... I know David Montgomery's younger he's I mean he's he had uh he had a strong you know, he last... had a strong finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah for like certain. When it was when it was making that playoff run for certain. Those last he three had weeks. a strong finish. Yeah, and yeah. I and I wasn't seeing Tree Cohen's name mm-hmm. at all. Yeah, I think that I think that's a good situation. If Russell goes there, he makes them a better football team. Yeah, I think I agree. So, I read this today on uh, one of the Philly websites. Um, Jeffrey Lurie, the owner, came out and publicly said that the Eagles are not drafting a quarterback um, Mm -hmm. in the first round Um, and also said that they are going to build this team around Around Jalen Hurts. Hurts. Now, I I feel a couple of ways about it because I don't feel like the Eagles should even have to say that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you draft a guy in the second round, obviously second round players, you know, particularly quarterbacks – you know, they you get think. their chances to be the future of the franchise mm-hmm. after in the second round. Yeah. But I understand why he said that. And the reason I understand why he said that was because there was a lot of chatter going on Philly radio between hosts, people that call in talking about, we don't know about Jalen Hurts. Um, they might draft a quarterback. And, you know, you got insiders talking about, oh, you know, they, they really not sure. You know, maybe they'll, you know, they got the number six pick, that kind of a thing. So it's kind of up in the air. Jeffrey Lurie put that to bed. And I and I understand why he came out and said what he said. And I f- feel really good about Jalen Hurts. I, 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 yeah, I really yeah, um, yeah, for sure. Uh, he, I mean, he is the type of quarterback that seems outside, that seems to be working right now. Um Thanks to Lamar Jackson, so uh, you yep. know, yeah, for sh- for sure, he they should build a team around him. I mean, that I think that but that goes without saying. Um, I we'd be, I think we'd be more in Philly Philly shit if they drafted a quarterback high or yep. or really at all. I I at, don't see at them, all. Yeah, I don't see at all. Need, really? Yeah, at all. Yeah, now, I don't if, see now if you draft a guy in the sixth, seventh round, nope. nobody nobody cares. Nobody cares. But no. I, I I still I think that's a waste of a draft pick. What are you drafting a quarterback for? Unless he was that good in the sixth. Unless he was that good. And mm-hmm. still, if he was that good, what are you? You don't need him. He's not. I mean, he's not going to play. So who's the back? Who's the backup there? Probably Nate Sudfeld as the at this point. Oh, oh, he's garbage self. Yeah, about him. Oh, yeah, but I'm still, but I'm still not wasting a draft pick on on a quarterback. Not that, yeah, not not that you say that, and, and now that I remember, it's Nate Sudfeld, and they speak highly of him, even though I think he's trash as a backup. Even, um, yeah, you you probably want to get as many you know non quarterback players as you possibly can. They got holes. Uh, they got holes. They're under the, like they're so over the cap. It's not even funny too. Yeah, like they they got big contracts to old guys, and um, I, I know they was talking about Jason Peters, um, you know, getting old, getting up there, um, a few other guys. So they they got some old contracts that they're gonna have to figure out how they're gonna you know even be a player in free agency. I don't even mm-hmm. think that's even possible. I don't think that's possible either. But they're in the NFC East, so I mean. Play decent, play decent football. You might be in the playoffs. So, you might, yeah, you might win seven and nine, eight and eight. We need a division mm-hmm. <laughs> for real, right? Good, 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 good point there.